Now that we've looked at the good patterns, or some of the major good patterns of argument uh, in predicate logic, the good forms of inference, or a few of them, now let's take a look at some of the patterns that are going to tell that are not good. We know they are not good patterns of inference. I mean, the first one we want to take a look at is one that we went over at the beginning. All men are mortal. Spot is mortal. Therefore, Spot is a man. Remember, Spot, I think we were talking about Socrates being a dog, but uh, I think Spot works the same way. Uh, we can see that you can't from the fact that Spot is mortal, our dog Spot, and all men are mortal. We can't conclude that Spot is a man. In fact, we can see a case in which the premises are true, the conclusion is false. So we see that whole anything of that pattern is a is an invalid argument, not a good form of inference. Does it tell us anything about the conclusion? No. Does it tell us anything about the premises? No. But what it tells us is that kind of argument is not going to support that conclusion. And the other major invalid one, sometimes I like to call these the evil twins of the valid uh, ones because they're going in the direction. The last one is all men are mortal. Spot is not a man. Therefore, Spot is not mortal. Another one that doesn't work, right? Dogs are mortal. They're going to die. So all A's are B's. X is not an A. Therefore, X is not a B. Bad pattern. Notice something interesting in the, in these, in the good and the bad patterns. I just like to roll back one slide and point something out to you when we're going all A's or B's, we read from left to right, then the second premise is X is a B, an A, therefore X is a B. So if we're going in the positive direction, X is an A, X is a B, we can make that conclusion. Now look at the second one, all A's or B's, left to right, X is not a B. So we're going in the negative direction, X is not a B, so if we're going negatively, we're going right to left, so we can conclude that X is not an A. And you're going to see that these rules are violated. So we've spent some time think figuring out what valid arguments are. In particular, we've looked at predicate logic. It'd be helpful for us to consider some examples in predicate logic, some examples of uh, about validity, about logically strong arguments, and about predicate logic before we turn to the next subject, the next subject being arguments whose logic depends on the connections between sentences. And we'll be talking about that shortly.